Good evening, Bandits. It was a lot better than I thought it would be opening up uh, at the end of the month, end of August. Usually slow, but not today. We absolutely murdered it this morning. Hit on our targets. Actually, all three of the notes, all three of the targets hit. Let's take a look at them, why we liked them, and what trades kind of set up from them and how you could make money. I hope you made money in them as we called them out live. Uh, but with all that, here we go. So, here we have the Tesla. Let's take a look at our notes. For those of you who do not know, I'm Gator. Like, follow, share, subscribe. It really does make a big difference when you like these videos on YouTube, um, Twitter, anywhere else. We're on Twitter now, so if you're over there, if you're uh, wherever you are, if you check them out, it does make a massive difference supporting this channel if you do like the stuff. So, that's the shameless plug. Let's take a look. Every day we post in Discord, we post on Twitter. Uh, Tesla fail uh, this is talking about yesterday failed to hold up yesterday if we can take out 240 early and hold I'll look for a push through yesterday's high and a move into 248 and then to the downside you need to get through yesterday's low and you'll see 330 uh, what did we do all right so for those of you who I did not trade in the first two to three minutes <clears throat> this is a two minute chart we're looking at <clears throat> why did we like Tesla here what do you see Key, you see a very flat two minute 200. We are getting very compressed. We have a uh, <clears throat> two minute 21 right there on top of it. Yesterday we failed, but we didn't break lower necessarily. We just kind of rejected. We consolidated. We are pushing higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. And if you really zoom out, you can see that there were plenty of higher lows in here. And uh, I wouldn't draw this. I'd actually order something like uh, this. But you have a nice little, nice little formation here forming to start off the day. Um, so that's what I was looking in the open, um, and I had a downside target of 30 down to the support line. If you broke through the lows, you're more than likely to come in as 30. And if we break out through 40, I was looking for a move into 38 and, or sorry, 48, which we absolutely hit and blew through. If you guys were listening to the call out, <clears throat> I waited. I did not take the initial bounce off the 200, although I did call it and say, you know, you're bouncing off the 200 here. Um, I was a little cautious this morning, wasn't sure what was going to happen. Two minute chart, bounce right off the 200. That's almost always a buy when you have something like this and then a breakout on the next candle. I waited um, and I actually waited for this digestion. Two minute 21, plays work, guys. I mean, I have a video series on what you're looking for in trades. And if you put the compression together with the notes that I put together, this morning and you say okay we're in a compressed state look at the last 45 minutes if you've watched any of the previous videos the last 45 minutes of the day before so 315 or so you know that's roughly your box you're looking at a break of that box um, 15 221 all in between it we bounce off the uh, 200 the 21 you're all in the correct direction the moving averages are where they're supposed to be we bounce through it. This is what you always want to see. You don't always need to catch the first break. You wait for the digestion. Three three candles. That's a beautiful um, digested pattern right into the 21. Instantly bounce. There's your entry. We took it long at 390. I uh, took it long about 375. We came up to 242. Sold some and then 248. Um, I actually had to go in the middle of this trade and put my daughter down. I had to leave around here. I sold some into the 242 and then put a stop um, all the way back down here at 240. So I did not get to get in this and take the uh, and take the secondary buy set up here off of the eight slash your flag, your bull flag. I missed it. Um, I missed adding to the trade, uh, but that was fine. It still worked. We still hit 248. So notes played, target played, and it went well beyond that. You. Um, actually went up and ended up going all the way up to what, you know, 258, so 10 points higher. So if you guys held this all day, I mean, really 244, but you know, if you held this, um, we did stop at 251 and we stopped it once at 258, pulled back and kept going. Um, my internet went out. I posted in the room, I lost internet, so I actually couldn't trade any of this. I couldn't follow up. It didn't come back on until later in the day. And then I had a few other things to do today. So I did not get to uh, complete this uh, rest of this move, but almost 20 points. 
a um, little bit less from where we called the entry at. That's just an absolutely, did not expect that end of August, nice run. The market seemed to like that data. I was just looking for a move into this uh, anchor VWAP hourly 200. We blew through that <clears throat> all the way up into here. Uh, either way, I would say that's a win. That's a nice um, call and I hope you guys made some money off of it. And as far as different setups that you can take during it, if you miss this initial breakout, you did have a pull into the eight and a break through that. Um, another few three bar digestive candles here, breakout, two minute breakout that set up nicely. Uh, consolidation, break through uh, the highs on this flag. There's another one. And you know, there's plenty of stuff you can draw here, plenty of different time frames. That's a two minute time frame. Five minute time frame, your first uh, five minute set up beautifully, your first five minute breakout after the initial break. About 242 would have got you to your 248 or wherever your target was. Um, consolidation into the five minute eight. It came off the five minute eight. You could have bought that beautifully for a move into, I mean, I had resistance at 54. That actually kind of held up well. I have to look at where that line's from, but that actually held up pretty well. And then we did flag here and break later in the day. So plenty of setups today in Tesla. I wish I could have capitalized more, but again, the internet went down for most of the day um, for me. So Tesla, winner, that was money. I was very, very happy with that call. NVIDIA, <coughs> let's take a look at it. Let's see where we're at. <coughs> All right, NVIDIA, second name we were looking at. Um, only did three today, I didn't trade yesterday, had a charity golf tournament. And then um, today, you know, came in, looking at the market, not positive, end of the month usually take it easy. So I just like these three names the best. NVIDIA looking for it to hold uh, 63 to 61 early. So I thought a little bit lower than this, like I thought somewhere in here, you're gonna hold right about here, at like 63, 65 or so was what I was looking at. Bounced a little bit before that bullish hot dog, um, but either way, looking uh, for that to hold. Um, if we can do that and push, uh, I think it can push into 475.50 and 482.70. I'll look for a buy on a strong move through yesterday's close. There's yesterday's close. Look where that set up at actually. Bullish hot dog, perfect setup. Hmm. Um, uh, yesterday's close or a bottoming pattern off 263 to, uh, um, or sorry, 463, 461. If we reverse lower, uh, 453 and 450 are the short targets. <coughs> Obviously like this one more to the long side than the downside today. Uh, five minute, that's the five minute, there's your five minute 200 uh, key line you should always have. And then your two minute 200 was below you. We never came into it. Pre-market, I was looking at the two minute 200. I was looking at this pivot low around 63.60 um, where we bounced here. We bounced right at uh, 63.90, I think, 63.91. So not, sorry, I didn't jump back. Not perfect. I was looking at, at these pivots. You can see this pivot and this. That's what I was looking at. Bounce just above it. Bullish hot dog um, on the five minute. Set up nicely. We took off and we bounced. I took, and I think I called it out on a one minute break here. So I said I was looking for a long through um, yesterday's high. I missed the initial long through yesterday's high. Uh, because I was in Tesla. So I missed the break here. So we initially popped up, we you know bounced at the open, we reversed lower, failed to break lower. This is a one minute chart and I missed this break because I was in Tesla and I took this one minute breakout. So just so you know, one minute stuff does work, especially when you have a level you're waiting for. Instead of uh, chasing it, I just waited, took the one minute here and then the target was 75 was my first target. I sold into some into 75, about half into 75, and then held the rest into 82, just because I just had a trailing stop on that never never got tagged. And we hit about 82, I think I said 82.50 was what I was looking for. Um, 82.70, we hit 82.70 up here. I called, called it when it hit, and then I had to go about 35 or so was when I left and I did not hold this through the rest of all this today um, and that was fine but another beautiful name another beautiful setup we bounced just in in the 663 so I was close with the level um, once you saw this reversal on the five minute it was just too good to pass up missed the initial break caught the one minute breakout after we had that consolidation and move greatly the rest of the day you're not always going to get days like this but man when you do you just got to take advantage and you never know when they're going to come so that's why I think trading with a target and with a 
uh, buy setups that you're looking for really make a difference when you have something like this if you're looking at it you can tell the name's been strong that a lot of people want to buy it you can clearly see the top of this flag you can clear clearly see the bottom and how that levels up so you're just looking for this to break in either direction and then you're looking for a one or two minute setup whatever it is outside of that and that's what we got here we got our one minute and we got to target so if you're looking at that that's how much from the break from where i bought it anyway not from where i called it, it was 71 um so 71 to 82 10 points on this and roughly 10 points on the other name i take two off and say 18 so 18 points on the overall move in an hour it was an hour of work roughly for me and within that i was gone for 15 minutes putting my daughter to sleep so you can make a living while putting while taking care of a kid and putting it to sleep if you know what you're doing you buy at the right points and then the market cooperates we'll be honest that the market had to cooperate today um, it did uh, i'm grateful that i stuck to my plan and that the plan worked um, and that's that's just key a name that we uh now we'll see what happens tomorrow but a name that we did not trade today <clears throat> but uh, was working here it was meta um, so I'm looking at meta looking at the call outs I did not trade this one this was a slower moving name it still actually worked once you broke out it took a little bit for it to go for sure but uh, once we broke out this one worked just fine if you were waiting for this name to go hopefully you weren't too disappointed um, opening around the 2 minute 200 there's your 2 minute 200 tested it three times never broke below it if you bounce at the open, eh, I'm looking for a buy through 9.25. Um, you broke 9.25 around here, consolidated it and went, but looking for a buy through 9.25, 290.25. Target on the day would be 295.61. I would take some profits around 93. If you break down at the open, look for 85 and 83. 85 and 83 being the bottom of this channel that you have here. Also your uh, FIB retracement on this entire move. 83 is where we had a bounce. We also had, you know, this. So I was looking for a possible, you know, two wave kind of corrective down to the 83 area and then bounce. Didn't happen as far as on the downside goes. We held up, we flagged beautifully. I missed it, my internet was out um, at this time, so I did not catch the move. We ended up going through 95, which was my target to 97. So 98 moved a lot more. Um, obviously on the market breakout, you just kind of got to see this. I, um, you know, I know that it happens, but we did hit target in that. So three for three. If you guys took this one, this is not one I called out. It's not one I traded other than when we initially broke out. I said, hey, watch Meta. Um, <clears throat> 1030 or so. Yeah, I said, hey, watch Meta. We just broke and we went long here or didn't go long here, but this happened. You came back in, consolidated and, and went. Um, good trade. Didn't take it. Not going to lie. Did not uh, capitalize on that call partially because of Internet and putting my daughter to bed, but very happy with the Tesla trade. With the nvidia trade there were some setups here in meta too um definitely not as easy as these two because they just ran or uh, i had this thing open the whole time i'm gonna have to cut sorry guys i'm gonna have to go back and i'm gonna have to cut that uh i'm not gonna actually cut it i'm just gonna post the video but either way yeah you had a couple setups in here we moved up you can see the reason i like the bottom bottom of this kind of forward fib retracement of this entire move um here's the next fib retracement along with a bounce that happened in two different places so I liked the 83 for a downside, and then obviously the upside was, um, I didn't think the whole measured move would happen. I um, was just looking for a fib at the uh, the 127 fib. You hit that and came into the top of the range. If we go back on larger time frame, you're all the way up here near the top. So we'll see what happens going into tomorrow. Did not fully expect that to happen to go into $98 today, 99, you know, near that 300 level in meta. Um, obviously it did happen. Maybe I should have been a little bit more aggressive on the target there, but I am happy with that call. Uh, wasn't perfect, but hey, I'll take it. Um, I didn't trade it. I wish I, I wish I would have been around to take it once we got going. But I, I don't know if you guys have, uh, if you've been using this stuff. If you see my, the notes that I post, if you're able to take them, if you hold them to target, if you um, have looked for setups within the move, especially when you have something parabolic like Tesla today, like Nvidia, when you're catching that breakout and you see that it's going, um, if you have ways to get into it and and reasons to take the trade. But I do hope this stuff has been helping you guys out. Uh, yeah, freaking killer day today. A lot better than I thought it would be, uh, for sure. I did not fully expect a move like this. I think if anybody's looking at the market, they're probably lying if they say they expected this much of a breakout. 
I did expect a little bit of a breakout, and I thought we probably reversed and got choppy. But uh, all in all, it was a great day, guys. Hope you uh, were able to make make some uh, oh, what's the word? Make some money off the calls. And then also we do have uh, just as a note, if you're still hanging out and you're watching this, we do have a fantasy football league. You can check the Discord. We have a fantasy football little page here. I'll make as as uh, numbers for as many people as want to go. Ten dollar buy in. Nothing big. Just a little bit of fun. For the community so if you guys want to check that out we do have a fantasy football league link to the discord should be in the description of this video along with my twitter if you want to give me a follow retweet stuff like stuff when you see it you know post the stuff to help people out i think we do a pretty decent job here of of trying to be helpful trying to teach and um and i'd love to be able to continue to share that and and grow i appreciate all the support you guys give love you guys let me know what you think about this uh let me know what you think about the calls today and I will see you guys tomorrow for hump day, Wednesday, end of August. What is it? Um, what do we have? Two more days? Yep, 31st. Two more days in August. I'm not going to be going heavy into tomorrow after what happened today, but uh, I'll definitely be watching it. So let's see what tomorrow has to hold, guys. Have a great evening. Get some rest. Trade it with a plan. I'll see you all tomorrow.